a very warm welcome to all my lovely Montfortians. I hope you all are fit and fine at home and doing your studies well. In today's video, we are going to discuss the chapter number 10 of our English literature book that is the Rocket Women of India. This chapter is completely based upon the women's science. It means the scientists, those who have served the nation. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about three women scientists, Momita Datta, Nandini Harinath and Ritu Karidhal. First of all, tell me, let me tell you who are these three women scientists. These are the three women scientists who played a very major role in mom operation conducted by ISRO. ISRO is our Inter Indian Space Research Organization. This organization look after all the space operations and the space missions of our country. And MOM was the operation which was conducted by India, Mars Orbiter Mission by these three female scientists. So these are the three female scientists. In this chapter, we are going to study about them all. And they are depicted, they are shown by the three girls. The main characters of this chapter is Diksha, Aisha and Josephine who are the girls of fourth grade. They are participating in fancy dress competition and in that competition the theme is women in science. So they are dressed up as Momita Datta, Nandini Harinath and Ritu Karidal. So take out page number 69 and start reading the chapter. Women scientists played a major role in India's first space mission to another planet. It means women have played a major role in conducting the operation in which a satellite was sent on Mars, another planet. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, underline its full form, sent a satellite the size of a small car to Mars. A size of a small car, a satellite of a small size like a small car has been sent to Mars. The Mars Orbiter Mission, MOM, also called Mangalyaan, is one of the greatest achievement of ISRO. This was one of the greatest achievement done by India. Diksha, Aisha and Josephine. Now let come on to the three characters. Diksha, Aisha and Josephine. These are three friends of grade 4 like you. Were participating in annual fancy dress competition in school. The theme was women in science. Now the theme of the fancy dress competition was women in science. So they, these three are dressed up as Momita Datta. Nandini Harinath, Ritu Karidhal, the rocket woman of India who played a major role in Mars Orbiter mission. These all three female scientists have played a major role in Operation Mangalyaan. The three friends were the last participant. In that particular function, they were the last participants. They walked onto the stage holding the Indian flag. What they were doing, they were holding the Indian flag and they reach the stage. Diksha waved to the audience. Now it's turn for Diksha. The first turn is, turn is of Diksha. Diksha waved to the audience. Wave means saying hello like this or you waved your hands. She was nervous at first and then she began her speech. At first she was very nervous when she entered the stage but then she regained her courage. I am Momita Datta. I worked for Isro Ahmedabad. She introduced herself that I am Momita Datta as she was in, uh, dressed up as Momita. So Momita Datta from Isro. When I was a child. Now in these lines you will get to know how the girls they are dressed up as scientists and they will share their experience. The experience of these three scientists how they were uh, keenly interested to become a scientist. Now she is going to share the experience and the desire of Momita Datta how she keenly wanted to become a scientist. As I was a child, I used to dream about the space, universe, stars and especially aliens. Those who are scientists from the very young age, they are very much interested in stars, moons and satellites. Do you know how I became interested in science? I saw magnificent color coming out of a prism in an experiment at school. When she was, when Momita Datta was in school, she was experimenting with prism. Prism is a tri uh, triangular piece of glass. When a light is passed on it, it the light gets split into seven color. I was fascinated by it. Fascinated means attracted. Underline the word fascinated. 
Much later in 2004, I read in a newspaper that India was preparing for the first mission to the moon. In 2004, Momita Datta read in the newspaper that India was preparing for the first landing on moon. From that moment, I wanted to join ISRO. From that particular moment, Momita Datta decided in her mind that she wanted to join ISRO. I was involved in many other projects and I went on to become the project manager of Mom. She was so much experienced as she has been serving in so many projects that she was the project manager of Mom. Mom was the Mars Orbiter mission in which a satellite was sent on Mars by India. It was having a size of a small car to detect whether the life is possible on Mars or not. So she was the project manager. See, this was such a great achievement. Diksha had forgotten the last sentence of her speech. As Diksha was depicting herself as Momita Datta, so she just forget her last line. She was also observing the audience and Diksha was presenting her part. They were listening with interest. Now it's turn for Aisha. Now it's turn for Aisha, the second girl, Diksha's friend. Aisha came to know that Diksha has forgotten her one line. So what she did, it was her turn. She said, Momita Datta received the ISRO team of excellent award for Mangalyan. She covered Diksha by saying that Momita Datta received the excellence award. So in this way, Aisha helped Diksha while Diksha has forgotten her line. Shall we clap for her? In this way, she wind up her speech. The audience clapped. Aisha's teachers and parents were very delighted. Delighted means happy. Underline the word delighted. Delighted means they were very happy, very proud that Aisha helped her friend out. As she was not confident, as she was in fear, so she helped Diksha. Now move on to the next page. Now it was Aisha's turn. Now this was the turn of Aisha. Aisha, I am Nandini Harinath, a rocket scientist as ISRO. Now she is the rocket scientist at ISRO. As a student, the popular television series Star Trek kindled my interest in science. Now she is explaining. Now as a Nandini Harinath, Aisha is explaining that when I was a child, I watched Star Trek, a show in which created my interest. Kindled means started my interest in Science. I have been with ISRO for 20 years. See her experience that from last 20 years she has been working in ISRO. I have served, worked in 14 missions. She has worked on 14 missions. I received the award for India Today Women in Science 2015. In 2015, she received the prize of India Today Women in Science. I served as a deputy operations director of MOM. She was the second operator. Deputy means second. She was the second operator of the operation MOM. I am proud of the mission. It was very special because many people including students were watching our progress. We worked long hours to complete the assignment. It was such a successful assignment that the work for long hours. I was really thrilled to see its photograph on the new 2000 rupee currency note. Did you notice it too? So what you can see, ask your parents to show you the note of 2000 rupees. You can see the satellite which was sent on Mars on that note. So it is a very really proud moment on which these ladies were working on the project and that was mentioned, that is mentioned on India's currencies note. So that is very proud moment. The performance of the girls left the audience spellbound. Spellbound, completely attentive. Everyone was watching their performance attentively. Now it's turn for Josephine, who is dressed up as Ritu Karidhal, the third scientist. I am Ritu Karidhal. She entered at the stage by waving the tricolor flag. She was Waving the flag. Waving the flag means just doing this with the flag. Showing to the audience. I am Ritu Karidhal. As a little girl, all these three are sharing their childhood experience. How they become interested in science. I used to look up at the stars twinkling in the sky. I wondered why the moon changes its shape and size every night. Now they are sharing how the moon is changing its shape and size. 
she was interested to know how moon is changing its size and shape every day i was 14 or 15 years old i followed the activities of isro when she was only 14 or 15 year old she used to follow the activities of isro i started collecting newspaper clippings about isro little did i know that the curiosity would one day land me in isro as a scientist she was so keen to know about the activities of isro that she was completely prepared in her mind that one day she will definitely land in isro as a scientist i received isro young scientist award in 2007 from apj abdul kalam and then the president of india i am proud i was a part of the team and worked on mom i assisted the team of scientists as a deputy operations director she received the youngest scientist award in 2007 from apj abdul kalam who was the president of india at that particular time at that particular period 2007 so she has also worked as a assistant deputy operation director diksha aisha and josvin waved the tricolor together all the three girls come up on the stage and they waved the flag together after completing their performance there was a big round of applause applause means clap the audience was clapping for them they walked up parents teachers and students were waiting eagerly for the chief guest to announce the results all the parents teachers and their friends were waiting eagerly that what will be the result as they have performed really really well congratulations the chief guest said to diksha aisha and joswin you have won chief guest congratulated them that they have won the fancy dress competition she continued the chief guest continued do you know that one of the aims of the first indian mission to mars was to plan and carry out a mission to another planet that it was a mission to reach to another planet and the second was to explore the surface and atmosphere there were two main aims first was to reach to another planet and second was to to explore the surface and atmosphere of mars then she gave them prizes to the winners and the participants those who came second third and consolation prize they all received their prizes all the three friends walked happily to the stage amid cheers from parents teachers and friends they received they received a very appreciation their parents teachers and friends were really really happy for them for their lovely and mesmerizing performance i hope you are clear with this chapter 10 this is a very very interesting chapter you got to know about momita datta nandini haridal and ritu karidhal all these three girls have dressed up like these three scientists and this is completely a very different chapter so if you have any problem you can contact me on my personal number thank you have a nice day